thank you, Tiger. Pleasure having you here. Okay. Uh, for a very interesting cause, which is pledging support to Swachh Bharat, uh, Bharat Abhiyan. So we are actually talking uh, to our amazing cast here. Okay, so starting up with the flying jut himself, Tiger Shroff. Um, you're the heartthrob of the nation, Tiger, and I'm sure... Guys, do you all agree? The heartthrob of the nation. Okay. Uh, two back-to-back -back relations, all the very, very best. Um, okay, so you are the ultimate action dancing, and now you're, the list is added to a superhero. Okay, you've done this film, you're the Indian superhero, but apart from acting, dancing, and also playing a superhero, we know that the film also has a very important message. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, hello, good afternoon everybody. Uh, thank you so much for the warm welcome, and uh, talking about the message of the film, I think, definitely stress on environment, I think that's our main message, and uh, all about uh, maintaining a clean environment. For example, I get my powers from nature and cleanliness. And he is, uh, you know, he gets, derives his power from pollution. So, the more we pollute, the stronger he becomes, the weaker I become. And the more uh, we keep the environment clean, the stronger I, I am. And I can help you guys take him on. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, really, uh, it's all about uh, nature man versus pollution man. Okay, very interesting. Um, so I'll come back to you, Tiger. Um, okay, Jacqueline, um, you shall like this. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so you play an environmental science teacher, right? If I if I'm if I'm right. So tell us, uh, do you preach what you do? You practice what you preach. So tell us a little bit about what you teach and what you believe in, in terms of supporting the environment. Thank you. So uh, hi everyone. You guys always do such great things and you know such great social work so it's always a pleasure to be back here and be among all of you. Um, yes Aditya, I play a uh, environmental studies teacher and um, so it really is about, this This role actually is like I think the closest to me I've ever gotten to it in a role. So um, you know it really represents me in so many ways because I am very passionate about nature and I am very passionate about uh, the environment and uh, protecting what we have, what Mother Nature has given us. And, um, you know, it, it really saddens me when, like, something as simple as someone, like, throwing out paper from outside from, from their car, you know, or uh, someone, like, leaving taps running, or someone, you know, like, these really small things, or throwing stuff into the sea, you know, just like garbage or plastic into the sea. I, I just find it so sad that people can't think about the future and what a small action can actually do with the long run. Um, so yeah, there's so many things, you know, it, it's very common sense, it's pure logic. It really starts from children. So, um, you know, the one thing I could probably say is if you're an adult, you're a parent, um, just make sure, I think the, you know, what you can definitely do is, the best you can definitely do is educate the kids. So they grow up in an environment where, you know, they know that it's wrong and it comes from there. So, um, yeah, I think uh, that's uh, my um, advice or any, if I could say anything about it, then I would definitely say that. Thank you very much, well ladies and gentlemen. You round of applause to the beauty of the purpose. Thank you, Jacqueline. Um, okay, Nathan. Wow, I'm scared already. <laughs> okay, uh, you've seen him the pull more Hollywood films, so welcome to India and great having you as now a Bollywood villain. Okay, okay, so give a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. The superstar himself, Nathan. Um, Nathan, um, uh, we all heard about Hollywood versus Bollywood. Okay, um, uh, so yes, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to ask you the very cliched question to start off with. Okay, and, and the cliched question is how pretty are the Bollywood heroines? How pretty are they? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Bollywood girls. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now coming, uh, uh, you've done a lot of action and we've, we've seen you as you were a superstar of action films. Okay, we've seen you do a lot of stunts. Um, how's, you know, one talks about safety, one talks about a lot of it in Hollywood. Is Bollywood matching up to all of these standards of safety? Well, I've heard different horror stories from right. <laughs> about Bollywood, but I've heard conflicting reports. You know, so, but from my experience, I had a great time. I, 
company I'm working with is very professional. We, I, at no time did I feel like there was any problem with um, safety. You know, I had complete faith in the river. Okay. So you play Raka. You you play the you play the person who who is I, from what I understand here. You, you you're the pollution expert. You're you're Raka and uh, so tell us a little bit about Raka. Power from negative energy and pollution. So I'm quite like a diametrically opposite to my friend here. Right. And, um, he like in every sense of the word, personality and everything spiritual. He's calm, serene. He's, yeah. You know, I'm a narcissistic maniac. <laughs> obsessed with my own power. Uh, and, uh, yes, it was a really great character. So I okay, we're looking forward to see the flying jet beat you up in the film. <laughs> Not much, okay. We'll, we'll have to wait for the film to actually uh, look. Okay, coming back uh, to the flying judge and South Tiger. Okay, um, you, you play a martial arts expert in the film, okay. Um, and we've seen you doing action. We've seen you doing stunts. Uh, can you actually hit me a little bit of something? Uh, you know, like, anything, that, anything that you can actually, you know, some, uh, a, a flying jut move and also some tips for, you know, if, if women have to actually take care of themselves for self-defense, what can, what can they do? So can you actually show us something? 